What foods would vets never feed their dogs? Are you looking to learn more about natural pet health and wellness? You've come to the right place. Click the link to subscribe to Veterinary Secrets. Veterans were asked, what foods would you never give to your own pet? Results, kind of surprising. Pippi, our neighbor's dog, she's the star of many a YouTube video. She's a pretty indiscriminate lab. She loves food. This was an article on the Huffington Post. They interviewed two veterinarians. The first veterinarian just so happens to be the medical director of VCA, this large corporate veterinary chain. The one food she said she would never ever feed her pets is this, raw pet food. She claims the health risk to her dogs far too great. A really high risk of pathogenic bacteria, i.e. salmonella. Huge risk of secondary contamination. I mean, you don't wash your hands properly, you get sick to salmonella. And when I think back on veterinary practice, majority of the colleagues that I talked to, they were pretty opposed to raw food. You can go on Google right now and search, should I give my dog raw food? There's going to be an astounding no. The general veterinary consensus, the health risks are too great. There's a real risk of salmonella. You don't want your dog to get salmonella. There's a real risk to you. You could potentially get pathogenic bacteria. And then on top of all that, you're feeding this unbalanced diet. There's no way this is going to provide the adequate level of nutrients that your dog needs to thrive. Hmm. So no raw food. Susan Thixon of the Truth About Pet Food makes an interesting point. Over 150 million pounds of kibble were recalled last year due to potential salmonella contamination. By comparison, only a very small amount of raw pet food was recalled. Your pet is more likely to get pathogenic bacteria from this, this dry kibble, than this raw dog food. A second vet was interviewed. Four foods she said she'd never give. First, she said she'd never give fatty foods like bacon. I fried up a couple slices and look at the fat dripping off that bacon. Bacon was probably the one of the biggest triggers for pancreatitis. These dogs would get these high fatty meals, aka bacon, like look at all the grease in the bottom of the pan. Such a big trigger for an inflamed pancreas. It can be a really difficult disease to treat. Some of our dogs and they get so, so ill from pancreatitis. So yes, avoid the high saturated fat foods like bacon. Never give this, she said. Chocolate, especially the dark chocolate, it's a well-documented toxin. We all agree on that, avoid chocolate. She said she'd never give these. These here, these are grapes. And although the grapes are safe for people, they are not safe for dogs. We don't know why for sure, possibly there's a toxin within the skin in the grape, but a small percent of dogs can get extremely ill and actually develop kidney failure as a result of consuming grapes. A dried grape, it's a raisin. So grapes, raisins, like 100% avoid giving those to your dog. I do get a lot of questions about grape toxicity. Someone's inadvertently given their dog a grape. Fortunately, most dogs do not have side effects, but a small percent do, and it's just hard to know. So it's best, never give your dog a grape. If you've done it, monitor your dog closely. If they have GI signs within an hour of giving the grape, then they're likely having a reaction. You need to get to the veterinarian as soon as possible. The last food ingredient she said she'd never give her own pets. This, a pretty toxic artificial sweetener. This gum, it's labeled as sugar-free, contains xylitol. Xylitol can be seriously toxic to our dogs. It can cause hypoglycemia or low blood sugar. These guys can crash and seizure. It's not just in gum that is artificially sweetened. It's even now found in peanut butter. If it says that it's sugar-free, just look to ensure that it does not contain xylitol. So I am veterinary number three. What is the one food I would never give my own dog? Extremely poor quality dry kibble. It's carb loaded. The first ingredient is cornmeal, a very unhealthy protein in the form of meat meal. The FDA, they allow animals that have died other than by slaughter, AKA potentially disease, potentially euthanasia. And these are animals which be turned into meal. If it says meal is very poor quality, really high potential for contaminants, avoid it. This food is artificially preserved. It says right here, it's been preserved with BHA. That's an artificial preservative. It's been linked to cancer. Let's just look at the colors. These colors, flavors, these are chemicals also linked to cancer. And this is the number one food that I would never feed. And what do I think of this raw stuff? Well, Tula gets this at least once a week. In fact, this made up her birthday cake. She had a raw dog cake. But that's just my two cents. What do I know? Thanks so much for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets. Click up there to subscribe, hit the bell button for notifications, then when you click that link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book.